Thank you for joining me. I'm Alex and I want to talk about FedEx today. So what they do is they do parcel deliveries mostly, um, also mail and some other services, but um, obviously like 90% of their revenue comes from delivering packages. Current price $256, which gives them a market cap of just under $70 billion. Dividend just over 1% with a payout ratio of 21%, which is not great, but also not terrible. Revenue $69.2 billion, earnings $1.3 billion, which is up over 100%, which is obviously a good sign. And that gives them a PE of 27 with a forward PE of 15. So they're expected to more than double that again in the current year. Total assets $73.5 billion, total liabilities $55.2 billion, which gives them a total stockholders equity of $18.3 billion. Um, obviously not terrible, but um, kind of even, and um, it should be a better ratio between assets and liabilities, but um, $18 billion in stockholders' equity with market cap of $67 billion, $68 billion, um, obviously not terrible. So um, risk factors, there's obviously a risk of other companies kind of doing their own thing, um, but that's mainly just Amazon. Um, there's no other retailer, except maybe Walmart, that has the scale to do parcel deliveries themselves. And obviously, um, one could do that by just delivering their own packages in tiny towns or um, cities and then kind of branching out from there and having FedEx, UPS, USPS still deliver all the other packages. Um, but overall, I really don't think that that's too big of a risk factor, especially since they don't really um, make a lot of profit on a package delivered for Amazon. <clears throat> Obviously, they're also not the biggest um, partner to Amazon, so um, really not much of a risk factor there at all. Um, so obviously for a growth investor, the negative growth is not great. For a dividend investor, I think the dividend is slightly too low, even though the payout ratio is low. Um, I do think that they might be raising their dividend, but I don't think they're going to raise their dividend quickly enough to really be a very interesting company for a dividend investor. For a value investor, I think the forward PE is pretty nice. I think that the balance sheet is okay. Um, there's no revenue growth, um, although there is revenue growth in the past 12 months, so that definitely helps. Um, and uh, the dividend is a nice bonus. So um, overall, I think for a value investor, this warrants a closer look, um, but there also might be better opportunities out there anyway. That's it for me for today. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe. I'm coming out with more videos every day before market open. I hope you have a successful day.